Is it possible to paint the entire picture using only toilet paper rolls? That's exactly what we will find out today together. Paper rolls, very cheap, uh, acrylic paints. I have never ever used them before because I'm trying to make sure that this project is going to be the lowest budget ever. So let's paint together, let's try to experiment and let's have fun because that's what it matters the most. As I mentioned to you, I have never used those paints and they're brand new, I have to open that. So give me two seconds. The best uh, was to basically stick that in there. <laughs> and I'm gonna do same thing with the other two paints. So far the feeling of those is quite good. It seems to be very heavy bodied paint, but we shall see, we shall find out when we squeeze it out and beautiful kind of uh, very shiny looking colors what you call them translucent, I'm not too sure, you know what I mean I call them loud colors, especially the pink one I've never used them, I have uh, all sorts of paints, acrylics but not, not them colors actually so it's gonna be a joy to use those, I hope anyway <laughs> To this set I will also add this white color and that's also from uh, Nutcraft store. It's a cheap acrylic paint from Lidl, the German shop that it's a European grocery store called Lidl, L-I-D-L. Uh, for US friends, this shop is coming to you, you will have them soon. It's similar to Aldi store and those were from Tiger which is another uh, cheap uh, version of stores. I'm always excited to try cheap products and I'm always curious whether it is actually um, it is actually good uh, to have them or is it waste of money that's what we will find out I'm building my background right now and as I said we will not use any brush or spatula as in we will paint the entire picture with paper rolls I hope <laughs> I hope I hope it's possible you know what the crazy ideas are coming to head when you least expecting them and this is one of them um, paint as I I will now I could be wrong and that will be also super fine if I am but I could be completely um, exploring and experimenting something sensational so what I have here as you can see I have some paint and I'm gonna be gently look at that I love it I will be just gently <clears throat> coloring my page by if I feel that I want to clean it, clean it maybe next door kind of and I will move those away from my way and the, the, when you use brush oftentimes it's very pr uh, precise painting way of painting which in this case as you can see I love the smooshes of it the kind of unexpected lines and the color being not so even and how abstract and perfect that is right away without really putting much of effort have a look yourself um, if you would go to try to make it this purposely <laughs> it would be probably hard to redo that with the brush at least I wouldn't know how to really do that I love the idea of uh, of kind of here being very much what's the word uh, well trying to be um, experimenting and exploring and trying to be not afraid so I'm adding white I like white in general I like white you know I do and my next step is to actually I'm gonna grab some paint from here oh nice one and I'm gonna grab some paint here mmm what do you think easy fun different I think it is. I think it is an enjoyable. Now I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't do a bit of circles I think because that would be kind of a common sense when we're talking about painting when we have rolls, right? So what I will do now, I will actually stamp with my roll right now. Yet again I'm using same tool Oh, perfect! Oh, that is. Do you know what? I'm gonna wait with that. But first, what I will do, I will actually make circles. Wipe off your finger, and I'll, look, the paint is still wet. So we are getting this amazing 
color mixes because the paint is still wet and it's mixing lovely, beautifully. Now, Marta, think. Stop talking. Think. Think. Oh my gosh, I love it. And the colors are... I'm not too sure how friendly they are with each other. But you know what? I love what I'm seeing here. I totally love uh, what, what I see. And... I'd be happy to keep on going and hoping for the best results. I do love that indeed. I'm thinking for the composition slowly, slowly, you know, no pressure, <laughs> no pressure. Okay, I'm gonna leave that as it is because it's gorgeous. Oops, I just dirtied my fingers. My, uh, I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna be go back to stamping. Look at that. Where will you get, the, oh this is smaller, and look how a happy accident that it's smaller and it's nice kind of outlined outside, outside of the box circle. <laughs> think outside of the box. Now, I have a smaller one here, which I think will be nice as well. It's not a, it's also paper roll, but it's cardboard more or less. What about if we, mm -mm -mm, loving it, add this kind of like that, maybe. Oh my, I love that. You know I do, don't you? You know. Circles are always good. If you're not too sure what to create, go with circles. Go with butterflies. Go with the easy things, especially if you're starting. If you're not too sure where to, which way to go. Circles, butterflies, flowers, those are easy, good subjects. They are your, your, your uh, subjects to go for if you're starting, if you're not too sure. Even if you're not starting and you want to just relax and do something nice and simple enough or enjoyable enough, just go for circles. Go for things that you love the most. Just because you created 100 times this sort of uh, page uh, with circles doesn't mean that you cannot do 101. Do it. Who will tell you you can't? I won't. If you enjoy circles, keep going. Keep going. Go for circles. Now, I added a bit of pink, mm -hmm. a little bit of pink. This one doesn't want to smooshy smooshy that much. I think I need maybe a little bit more of paint to, and maybe I will actually do like this, <laughs> since it's my brush, right? And I will add, oh, that's much better. I will add a little bit of pink in there as well, which is nice, and I'm gonna make a bigger circle here. Oh my, this is awesome. You see, outside, have a look. Smaller, I'm gonna do outside, why not? Sure, why not? It, it creates this dimensional um, shadowy effect that we love, right? Loving it, okay. We leave it that. What I will do is I'm gonna grab my white, oh, I have some white here, and I will use my finger to make some bit of shadow. So I'm concentrating on one side of my circle, right now and I'm going over inside my bubbles 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 mm-hmm and here okay maybe this should be dry a little bit or not I don't know we'll see maybe I need a bit more nice one don't be so precise. Relax your hand. Just go with it. It doesn't have to be that perfect, that precise. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Um, you know, the, I think the one of the biggest mistakes that plenty parents are doing when they're raising their kids, and I'm not an a specialist, but I was. I read that and I agree with it as well. That when kids are uh, painting at the very stage, or drawing at the very stage of their life, they happen to make colors like green sun, and the parent says, oh, no, the sun should be yellow, but in fact, you are killing the love for experiments now, and you're telling them, no, you can't think different, which I, in my eyes is very much wrong approach, because you have to think different, think outside of the box, because that's the um best part of life right i think so so when your child is about to um you know do the 
is um, doing different colors or wings added to horse or added to I don't know Lego man whatever allow them to be uh, fearless and creative I had the situation recently when I was face painting on the party and the boy wanted to be believe it or not fairy and the mother said and I started painting something and the mother said and she asked me what did he ask for a girly design I said yes and are you okay with that I said of course I am why would I not be okay why will I tell the boy what he wants to be if he wants to be dragon if he wants to be butterfly if he wants to be a princess it's up to him like you know it's really down to yourself what you love and even if it's small same for us when we older anyway are you following what I'm doing because I am talking to you and when I talk sometimes I don't really follow myself <laughs> which I think it's nice actually because sometimes when you do things um, what's the word like more like uh, how you without really thinking overthinking this is when nice things happen so I think this should be dry quickly And I would love to add a bit of more white now, yet again, um, to make this dimension and shadow on the side. So I will definitely add a little bit of white there. There we go. Nice, pretty. Now I'm thinking as well to actually. Um, outline my circles much more much more so I will need another color to it which is not budget it's a little more expensive paint um, but I think it would be nice to make a little bit of this one is dark blue a little bit of um, it would be nice to make a little bit of um, contrast yeah there we go so yes since I have only three colors from the budget very low budget ones I'm I hope you don't mind I'm using uh, some different brand cause, since I have no color. Anyway, I love that. I'm not pressing too hard. I love that. I love, love, love it. Totally adore what I see. And yes, wow. Okay, now we can move on with the smaller one. And I'm thinking actually and see what will happen if we add the white now somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, where. Okay, that didn't kind of do the trick well. It's okay, but not that, not that what I would love to see. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be. It can be very delicate as well, you know. Oh, I will repeat in those slightly gently, and I'm gonna go back with the green, and repeat that in green as well. I like that very much. Wow. Okay. That looks awesome to me, very much. We need something to it, some splashes, we need some title, we need something there. Uh, so maybe pencil would be nice. Let me grab some pencil and dry that in between. Mm, the page is dry, so what I will do now is I will grab some pencil and I will start outlining and shadowing a little bit of my circles. Um, for kind of extra depth and interest and to kind of bring them more to um, be more visible and stand out from the background since our circles are same all same colors scheme and all as our background it's not that easy to maybe see them as I would love them to be visible because they beautifully uh, integrated with the colors uh, so I think adding shadow will help us to make them being stand out and yes and being more visible that's kind of how I see it right now I hope you, um, you when you follow that uh, and when you're watching my video as I always I hope I'm encouraging you to actually create with me I'm 100% sure you have toilet paper roll, right? At home. <laughs> Actually, Lucas said to me, 
how why why do we have a paper <laughs> a pa loose paper in the bathroom <laughs> in the bathrooms everywhere where is the where are the rolls <laughs> And I said, I, 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 I just needed them for my projects. <laughs> so yeah, recently he was laughing that our uh, baby wipes are disappearing and he was asking me if we have another baby that he doesn't know about because the, the baby wipes are gone within days. <laughs> and it was just so funny because I use a lot of baby wipes. I've done the baby wipe uh, prod uh, videos even the journal page background baby wipe if you haven't seen it check it out and I've done baby wipe flowers which many of you have followed and loved and your flowers turned out extremely amazing and I couldn't be more proud let's face it I'm so proud every time you show and share your project with me or in the cafe the Facebook group or on my Facebook page I'm proud I'm bursting with pride because seeing that uh, there is a value in my videos that's how I recognize that there is a value if someone is learning something if someone is encouraged to try experiment to buy the tools for the first time maybe or to grab your very old tools for the first time uh, because you were afraid of doing it for years and you could only kept your belongings kept your beautiful supplies then I'm winning I'm the winner woohoo right here because being inspirational to actually make someone do things it's like wow there's no better reward right that's how I think am I right um so yes I I have been I have been uh, stealing all of the pa toilet paper rolls from all the bathrooms well we don't have that many bathrooms uh, but yes I was I was taking them all and instead <laughs> Instead of waiting for the paper to be finished, I was just <laughs> unwrapping the paper. Uh, so yeah, that's that's me. Okay, we are coming to an end with our shading, I think, a little bit, bit by bit, step by step, and it's way better. Can you see it? The way I see it? Can you see what I see, my dear friends? Because I see the beauty in the color, and I'm shocked, positively, how beautiful is my uh, color scheme as in it was a really not branded cheap acrylic paint and of course if you would like to try to make a fine artist painting um, which I never have even had courage to try but if you would try to follow someone uh, some p real artist that does acrylic paintings or watercolors using proper tools probably would help to achieve the effects but here since it's only or or a lot for some, it depends how we look at it, it's mixed media. There is the huge freedom of what we create, how we create, and with what you create. Can you follow that? Instead of, you know, stressing yourself that you don't have tools, you can really invest in some cheaper ones and try to have those in place. Uh, or, please start using those that you already purchased years ago or last year or last month and it's in the bag still on the floor in the shopping bag how many of us have this that we are massy <laughs> i i was visiting my friend recently and she she looked in the bag full of stuff and she was don't look there marta don't look there i unpack that soon i promise <laughs> That was just so funny. Uh, so yes, we all have that, isn't it? We just love uh, when there is a sale happening. Uh, we all jealous over Michaels uh, in States because you get all those amazing deals, 60% off. Uh, my friend Rain, Rain, am I right? Uh, she's saying, am I right in saying her name? She is a Michaels and coupon queen. She is in the cafe she's always posting info about deals and uh, especially for states people in states it's amazing because she will catch up all the 60% off coupon that day or whatever and she will tell us which is fabulous so yes uh, Marami's Creative Cafe the cafe Facebook group is great for all sorts of things for many reasons not only for creative vibe but for chatter and for um, 
what's the word for uh, advices for solving problems all sorts of things and it's amazing because can you actually imagine that I'm not sure when I will post this video uh, so I at the moment while I record it um, because now I'm in Poland you're watching it but I'm actually on my holidays but I decided to record videos for you to watch it while I'm away so I'm not sure how, what's the number of the um, friends uh, in the group but for now when I'm just recording it at the moment it's over 9,000 9.1 or 2 or something like that basically it's 9,000 cafeterians can you actually imagine this because it's like obviously you won't fit those in one or two hands that huge amount which is shocking and it's nice it's just it's a privilege for me that uh, it's possible to actually have amazing group like that and privilege to be part of it so because if not the people if not those nine thousands nothing would matter there would be no point of having a group when there is no uh, happy out people who are hanging around there and to be part of something special you know that's how we feel there in our cafe which is open 24 7 as we laugh anyway I have to say that I'm in pure love with that honestly and I'm not trying to uh, you know I've done plenty of colored I call them color journal pages uh, but this is another take on a techniques of using wet and you know and the fact that our background is so uh, unexpected and unpredictable I absolutely love it I think I'm missing a I'm missing missing oh missing missing I'm missing a little bit of white splashes of course but uh, also I'm thinking since we should not use um, branded stuff or too many stuff because I want this to be really uh, affordable project what I will do I make my dots with something else and I will see how good or bad this will be oh I'm gonna make dots with pencil you know pencil just pencil and oh my I love that oh my look at this what a technique now <laughs> we just found out something class pencil dots making this really looking awesome and different so I love adding dots but look adding them kind of things looking slightly different the size the way the color flows wow we now how fun is that how fun is that I do believe that we should have a little bit of them basically outside the project like here maybe or here you know just as a part bubbly part of the project like bubbles are everywhere swimming around <laughs> oh I love it I love it oh my so delicate in a way I don't know something nice and special special sorts of feeling about this page and how simple it was you and we made it in no time no time really okay that's it we need some title and we done and dust it we done and dust it plus splashes maybe <laughs> Mm, I found an idea for title those are stickers uh, those are very thick stickers chipboards and I know that they are very low price so um, we can include that in our low budget right at least I'll try I hope you don't mind that and I come up with this lovely title uh, and a saying B and this is kind of on the back of my head uh, now or well not only now it's in my head for forever and definitely since uh, I love watching the Ellen show she's my inspiration to be very honest she is my inspiration and I would dream to meet her and shake her hand and dance with her if you're watching it you know what I'm talking about and she always is kind to others and she always is asking others to do so and I am very much inspired since since always kind of since I have seen her first ever show and yeah I love her show and I love her attitude and that is being kind to others so 
that's our <laughs> that's our page. I'm thinking where to actually put the title to be nice. Maybe here actually. Actually. Actually, actually. Yeah. Oh. Be kind. Be kind. That's it. Yeah. I love it! Okay, I need to stick that. I will use my glue gun to make sure it's added because it is sticker, but yeah, something may not because it's a little bit not flat since the page is there. But I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't add splashes. Let's do a little touches, touches of splashes, a very delicate one. And I'm gonna use the fan brush. Uh, you can use stick. Oh no, we said no. Oh, can we do splashes with toilet paper? <laughs> um, I'm not too sure. Let's just use this and that's fine. Okay, I love it. I love, love, love it. I, the colors are just gorgeous. I mean, I had those paints, those uh, tiger paints for at least two, three, at least three months. And I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do with them kind of colors? I wanted to have them, but then I was like, Duh, what I'm gonna actually do? <laughs> and there we go. Something, oh no, go away. Something pretty as this. There we go. <laughs> I hope you love it equally as I love it. Thank you so much for watching. As I said to you, I'm away on holidays right now, so uh, you are watching my recordis recordings that I've done days before I left but I have few videos for you uh, planned and I hope to record them before I go so I hope to leave you with uh, inspirations for the time I'm away I hope you will enjoy that um, yes thank you so much for watching I hope that the toilet paper roll technique <laughs> inspired you to grab your paints and to actually paint and do something together like this fun easy achievable and I promise you it is achievable um, I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't say please do share this video with your friends on your social media that way more people can see it and be inspired so yes thank you for your comments I see them <laughs> and I absolutely enjoy reading them your thoughts your ad advices tips and uh, whatever you feel because you communicate in those comment section between each other so read those comments guys because uh, other viewers uh, other friends that watch uh, the videos they give the great tips about like recently there was a tip that adding soap to a, a water when you watercolor will make your paint flow more maybe that's a great tip for a very cheap brand watercolors that are not the greatest quality maybe and it's harder to use them a soap a bit of pinch of so soap in the water like tips like this and you you can read loads of amazing things and stories and comments in the comment section so check that out any links anything that you could be interested in that I haven't mentioned are below the video open for more description box I love you loads and I'll chat to you soon bye bye bye